Hey guys, tonight we're gonna make some junk egg fried rice that even Uncle Roger's gonna be proud of. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Todd. I'm Sassy. Okay, and uh, we have- I'm Niece not... and nephew. Niece and nephew? Oh, who... <laughs> Oh, Uncle Raja! Uncle Raja! Oh, Uncle Raja. Uncle Raja, niece and nephew. Yes, we are, we are long lost Uncle Raja, niece and nephew from California, eh? So, <laughs> so guys, hey, we're making some junk fried rice, egg fried rice, the best fried rice. And yeah, I got a wok. Yeah, I got some white rice. So we're going to start rocking here. So guys, before we can, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Smash it so hard, even Uncle Raja feels it all the way from the UK. All right, guys, no, seriously, <laughs> Uncle Roger's a really funny comedian, I guess. I don't know if he's a chef, cook, or nothing, uh, you know, or what. I've, I've only seen a couple of videos. Uh, they're usually fried rice critique videos. Go check them out, you know, after you're done watching here, because, you know, we got a special thing at the end of the video for you to see. But go check them out later and tell them, you know, we sent you. Because he's, really cause he's our long-lost uncle. <laughs> so what we're going to do here tonight, folks, is we're gonna make some fried rice. Obviously, we're gonna start with some good old white rice cooked yesterday, cooled off and let to dry out in the refrigerator. Why are we calling it junk fried rice? We got stuff we're pulling out of the fridge that anyone might have. Like for us, we're gonna have some leftover pork loin that we smoked and brisket that we smoked. Okay, this stuff is really delicious. It's got all the flavors already in it all the salt and everything like that. So it's just gonna make that fried rice really wake up. All right, so all we gotta do now is just start cooking. So let's get uh, busy over here. All right, guys, the first thing we're gonna do here is I'm gonna take some of this sesame oil straight from Sesame Street, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the wok, a very well seasoned wok. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some chopped up about a half of a white onion Use whatever kind of onion you guys have. Again, this is kind of a leftover thing. And we want to get those kind of kind of a head start. Babe, you might want to bring down that temperature a little bit. And we just, you know, we want to give them a little chance, a little, little head start there. Now what we're gonna do, so I took this mortar and pestle and I crushed up about four or five cloves of garlic here. So what I'm gonna do with that is hold on to that for now. And I'm not gonna introduce that until we put the rice in there. Right now, again, what I wanted to do is get this, uh, these onions caramelized a little bit, just kind of a head start again, you don't have to. Now, I took three cage-free uh, brown eggs, I beat them up already. Uh, and just to be, to be true to the theme, yes, I used uh, chopsticks to beat those up. Okay. Now, the sauce here that I made, I used about a quarter to a half cup of soy sauce, just a touch of this sesame chili oil, again, from our friends from Sesame Street. And, of course, we gave it a dab of sriracha, give it a little bit more. And then we gave it a nice, uh, good little mixing here. Okay, set that aside, let all those flavors get all happy. Now I got some fresh ginger, ginger root. Okay, so let's zest it in there. Oh, that onion smells good already. Yep. So it doesn't need a whole lot of ginger, but in this consistency, that's just right. Now we're gonna take the uh, garlic, and we're just gonna throw that garlic right in there in the middle. Now let it uh, just start to start cooking down a little bit. Sesame oil, please. There we go. Now you can use avocado oil, vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil, motor oil you want. I like this good old Asian sesame oil. You know, I say it's Asian because it's uh, got a little Asian writing here, you know, but uh, okay. Now one little secret ingredient, frozen peas and carrots, guys. Gotta get you some of these. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and put about half of this bag in the wok. Now, why frozen? Well, they, you don't want them to cook completely. 
You don't want them to get too mushy and stuff like that. Oh. There we go. We could always add a little bit more. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in the pork and the brisket. Again, these are already cooked. We're just looking to warm them up, so in they go. Now there's some oils and grease and whatnot coming out of that that'll kind of help season that wok up. Smells good, huh, baby? Yeah, smells good. More oil? Uh, chili oil. Oh, okay. Okay, the right kind of oil, guys. You don't have to be shy with this stuff. Use it up. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the rice in there. Ready? Hiya! Okay. We're gonna kinda stir that rice kinda into the middle here, and we're gonna get our sauce in there. Ready, baby? Yeah, we're not gonna pick up this wok and be flipping the rice around, because this is huge and this is hot. Here we go. And that's really most of the ingredients, guys. Okay, now per our friend, our uncle, Uncle Raja, the spring onions, you don't use, you don't cook these guys. This is a garnish for afterwards for this particular dish. So we're gonna set those aside. Look at that guys, look at that color. Now we wanna do, now we need to put the egg in there guys. So what Sassy is gonna do is make a little boat right in the middle there. A little bit of... And we're gonna put the eggs in the middle, push it out to the sides. Maybe even turn the heat down a little bit. Yeah, down, yeah. Okay. Okay. And there we go. Now this, Uncle Roger said this is actually okay. Okay. Now, it's up to you guys. You can stir the egg in with the rice and make more of a wet fried rice. We don't like that. Um, so we're gonna let that kind of cook in the middle, kind of get to be like a little omelet, flip it over and stuff like that, and then mix it in with the rice then. All right. This would be a good time to uh, get some of these spring onions ready. Next, you're gonna mm. bring out another wok. Mm. Mm. Oh, that tastes so good. You know what? Now that I had a chance to taste it, a little bit of salt. Pinch of salt to kind of bring out that flavor. No pepper? No pepper. Okay, mix it up. Mix it, mix it. Mix it, mix it, mix it. Hiya. All right, guys, I think this stuff is done. Look at this. Yeah. There we go, guys. Look at that. And garnish the green onions remember green onions go on after look at that and I just want to show you this guys it just looks so good look at that oh my god you can see the pork in there you can see the brisket spring onions Taste that a little bit there. Mm. Let me just tell you, it just came out really good. You can hear me eating it. Mm. People in Asia actually use spoons. So do we. How's the taste? Mm. 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 That's delicious. Mm. That's some good stuff mm. right there. Uh, the, uh, the garlic. I wasn't sure how big those carrots were going to be, but they're perfect size. Perfect size, yeah. Guys, peas and carrots, you know, I don't know who invented peas and carrots, but it, it seems to work out. And that color is just beautiful. Look at this, guys. Uncle Roger, very, very jealous right now. Okay, baby. So what do you think? It's good. It's delicious. It's got our smoked meat in it. It's delicious. That's what uh, made, brought up that flavor profile, the smoked meat. I'm telling you guys. 100%. This just isn't any kind of junk egg fried rice. This is smoked. This is our junk egg fried rice. And let me tell you, it's got the right amount of heat thanks to that sriracha sauce mm. and that little bit of uh, chili oil. Mm. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to smash that subscribe button so hard that you, mm, what's a good joke?
smack your niece and nephew? Um, what's a good smack? Smack it so hard. Yeah, this is so good. Guys. Thank you for watching, everybody. How about that? All right. No? Yep, that works. Okay. Thanks, baby. Mm -hmm. See you guys later. Oh, bro.